guys, what's up? It's Ashley or Optic Midnight here bringing you Q&A number eight. Um, you guys seem to really enjoy these question and answer videos because uh, you guys get to know me a little bit better. I'm answering the questions that you ask um, and you guys get a little mini shout out when I show your little picture at the bottom or whatever. And um, so anyway, this gameplay is sniper gameplay. Um, I don't remember what my score is. I got it like a few weeks ago and yeah, I don't know. I just... Uh, I guess I just like the map Carnival, <laughs> so I guess I want to use it as a gameplay. So, first question is, what is your favorite type of video to make? Commentary or dual commentary, etc. Um, the, the videos I have the most fun making is uh, like my episodes or any sort of like edit where it's not my voice. Because um, to be honest with you, these commentaries are really easy for me to do. I'm just talking to a screen and letting the gameplay go. Whereas when I edit an episode, uh, you know, it's it's like I'm choosing what I want to do. Where's the clip gonna go? Is it gonna be synced with the music? Blah blah blah. It's a little more entertaining from that aspect. Doing dual comms is really fun, especially if you have a person with you that you can just, you know, kind of you guys bounce ideas back and forth and you guys just have a good chemistry. People can tell that. So I guess uh, my favorite would be making uh, episodes and montages. Well. So yeah. Goddess X asks, who is your favorite X optic member with a vag? Um, now this is a really hard decision, uh, mostly because there's not a lot of X optic members with a vagina. Um, but based on our friendship and how well I know Lori, I'm going to have to pick Goddess because, uh, you know, she's a bomb. She's only an optic for like a month. Um, she just doesn't have the, doesn't have the recording equipment, just doesn't have, uh, you know, the the stuff required to make videos nothing that you know she's a very skilled player obviously so yeah uh lori i love you just uh throw that out there in the commentary yeah okay uh do you think you would have gotten as popular as you are without optic um as much as i'd love to be able to say oh yeah whatever optic didn't help me get where i am blah 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 um, that's not the case. Uh, Optic has helped me tremendously. When I got into Optic, I had 86 subscribers. And how many do I have now? I have almost 44k? That's ridiculous. That's insane. Optic has helped me so much over the past year that it's, it's ridiculous. And I've helped Optic. It's a win-win situation for both parties involved, I think. And, um, I've had nothing but a good time, you know, ever since I've been in Optic. And just the amount of exposure I've been able to get from Optic and what I've been able to do for Optic since I've been here is really exciting to me. So as much as I'd love to say I would catch a lucky break, you know, someplace else down the line, I, I can't say that. I don't know if I would be as big as I am without getting recruited in Optic because, you know, you never know who would have recognized me or, you know, I don't know. It's all just kind of about who you know and, you know, being in the right place at the right time and just getting lucky. That's really what it is. A lot of people think that this whole YouTube thing is easy. A lot of people think... Oh yeah, man, I got my PVR, I'm gonna make videos and commentaries, and then, you know, how do you get people to watch them? That's... Saying that just because you have a PVR um, is gonna get you big on YouTube is kind of flawed logic. That's like a person going out and buying a guitar and joining a band and assuming that they're gonna get a record deal. You know, that's, that's how I look at it a little bit. So, next question. If you had to lose one of your senses, which would it be? Oh man, that is hard. Um, if I had to choose to lose one of my senses, it would probably be sound. Even though I love music, I really do, but I really don't think that I could, um, you know, go without hearing. Or, I mean, go without sight and, like, other, you know, senses like that and touch and all that stuff. Like, I, I think that if I had to choose, I would still want to be able to see and have my all my other senses. So, yeah, that's a good question. Very interesting. Do you want F48-3 Jewel to join Optic? Um, if you guys don't know, uh, I'm actually probably going to be posting this a couple of days from now. So who knows what's going to happen by then or by now. Um, but uh, yeah, obviously I think Jewel is a great choice for Optic. I think that she has what it takes to be an Optic. She is way better than me. You know, she, she really is. I, I try my best to, to, you know, get my best gameplays, my best clips. And she just has this natural raw talent that I don't have. Um, honestly, I think she's she's the best female sniper I've ever seen. I know you guys are all going to be like, what about rapes? Um, I'm not going to go out and uh, open up any any uh, lines of communication, but um, I've never seen a video log of reaps. I've never seen any sort of substantial proof that she's a female. 
She has a microphone, but apparently never talks into it. Um, I've played with her once. I've had a lot of friends that have played with her. She never talks. Um, just looks a little shady to me, you know what I mean? Um, it'd be so easy for her to prove that she's female, yet she hasn't done it. But no doubt about it, whoever's behind the, the screen name of Reaps or whatever is a very skilled player, not taking that away from them. I just don't believe that she's a female. Um, so yeah, um, Jewel's obviously the best girl that I've ever seen play the game. What is your dream car? This guy obviously knows, or hopefully he knows, that I love cars, um, and so he asked a good question right here. My all-time dream car would be a Mustang, um, specifically 1967 Ford Shelby GT500. Um, you might know it as the car from Gone in 60 Seconds, uh, Eleanor. Really cool car. Um, the fastback style that is, uh, though I think that's a sick car. Uh, but pretty much any old muscle car, I used to love the 67 or 69 GTOs from Pontiac. Those are really good too. I saw a bunch of those at a car show last summer and I was in love. So, let's see. Is dating a professional gamer more difficult than dating a normal guy or girl for them understanding it's more than just a game? Um, I think that he's asking from the perspective of somebody that is like, would date me maybe? I don't know. Um, but for someone that would date me, they would, I mean, it's not like I sit at home and play video games, like, all day. Like, I do a lot of other stuff, too. I would just hope that they would understand that it's a hobby for me, and it's something I enjoy doing, and it's actually something that I've become successful at. So, yeah, I, I would a lot an extra amount of time to, to play video games, but I would never uh, let it get in the way of, a, you know, a relationship or anything like that. And, um, <clears throat> as long as they're understanding about that, I think that that is a really good thing, so... I'm not sure if it's more difficult than dating a quote-unquote normal person because everyone has hobbies, but I don't know. Maybe you guys can uh, answer that question in the comment section. Anyway, follow my Facebook and my Twitter to ask more questions for my next video. Thanks, guys.